Hey everyone, my name is Jasmine Solano. And I'm Samantha Valenzuela. And you guys are watching our podcast called Surviving Senioritis. And on, on today's episode, we have... Ah, Kasavala. Yay. 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 Our first female Yay. guest. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> so excited. That's kind of crazy. I know. First female. I'm so excited to be here. Couldn't right. have chosen a better one. Exactly. Really? The best yeah. female out there, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so, first question is, obviously, how has your senior year been so far? Really fun, guys. I'm having really fun. Except for, of course, applications, but easy classes I have this year. I I only have, like, four real classes this year. Mm-hmm. The two other are tutoring. And I'm doing good. I'm going out with friends a lot. I think our parents are more lenient on us. Like, they're easier on us this year. I like going out and stuff, so... Yeah, I agree. My parents are also like that. Yeah? I don't know why. I'm like, is this a trap? You like it's a Sunday me? and they're like, oh, you can come home at 10. And I'm just like, mm, weird. Who are you? <laughs> I've never had that, but okay. Oh. Um, <laughs> that's because I always go to your house. So <laughs> that's true. probably why. True. true. Very true. Um, as a senior, do you feel like there's like more pressure? Like academics, things like that? Mm, no. Really? I think last year was our pressure year and sophomore year. I mm-hmm. think sophomore and junior year is definitely like, oh, you have to do good in grades because this is when the colleges look at you. Not really senior year because right now we're going to apply. Mm-hmm. So they're not looking at our senior years. They're just looking at our junior and sophomore. Not really freshmen. But I did good last year. Really? Sophomore year, I did horrible. Really? really? So but bad. it was like half online, so didn't they give you like the chance to like make up stuff? Let's not talk about that. Dude, no. I did not I do was, anything. I, I was had looking a D, at that and today. I was just like, oh my god, it was so scary. I had a D in math, and then like, oh, you can you can do well, you can do better, right? And I was just literally like, I'm not going to try. <laughs> and my dad came up to me. He was like, oh, that man never confronts me. <laughs> just that day, he was just like, you better get your grades up. And I didn't. And now I'm here, and I did math again last year. I was looking at that earlier, and I was like, why didn't I, like, raise any of those grades sophomore year? Like, right. I didn't have nothing to do. Mm-hmm. What was I doing? Like, I there was, know. like, I had a B plus. Like, I could have easily made that to an A. You could have easily had, a like, a 4.0 if yeah, you tried. Yeah, for real. But I think we were just all, like, lazy because COVID barely started and we just yeah, didn't like, want to go out and all that. Yeah. I I actually did, like, work. So I had, like, all A's except for math. I had, like, a B. Mm, so grade? I Yeah, so I got my grades up because my mom made me. But, like, other than that, like, if she didn't make me, I probably wouldn't have done it. Yeah, my mom didn't really care. She's just like, don't go outside. And I was like, okay. <laughs> There's no toilet paper. <laughs> oh, my God. I hated that. Why did, Why was that a thing? I don't know. I remember I didn't go to school the last day. Uh, March 13th, I didn't go to school. And really? it was the last really? day of going to school. I did. I and remember it, like, yeah. vividly. Yeah, yeah, I remember it, too. I didn't go. And then I was just literally, like, I walked. <laughs> I went to the grocery store, and I was FaceTiming, like, one of my friends. And I was just like, there's nothing. <laughs> like, there's nothing. There's no toilet paper. There's no water. Like, yeah. there's barely any meat. A lady literally came up to my mom and was just like, um, there's no ground beef. How am I going to make things? And my mom's like, literally, the hamburger patties are ground beef. Just, right. just like mush them up. Right. And the lady's like, oh, thank you. People are just like, <laughs> It's just because there's, like, there's so much going on that, like, they're not, like, thinking. Like, because, like, we know that hamburgers are ground beef. But, like, in the moment, if you're, like, stressed out, you're not going to, like, put two and two together. Mm-hmm. That's like with, that's like school. There's so much going on in senior year. We just don't know what to get started <laughs> with. Huh? Literally. Do you feel like you made any, like, new habits this year? Mm. <laughs> no. no. I think I stayed the same. Like, no new routines, nothing? Mm, just waking up early in the morning and, like, instead of rolling out of bed, <laughs> actually getting dressed and, like, getting ready to go to school. Do I you think. have a first? Yeah, I do. I don't have a sixth or a seventh. I don't have a first. And I'm still late to my second period <laughs> class. Like, I really don't know <laughs> no, how really that is. works. Like, I have, we have second period together. Mm-hmm. She's always late. Because sometimes <laughs> I'll be in my car. Like, I'm here. Mm-hmm. And then I look at the time, and I'm like, oh, the bell already rang. And I park all, like, far. So I'm like, mm, great. Oh. I'm late today. Again. <laughs> Again. I'm always late to first period. Sorry, Miss Bates. Anyways. You have Bates first period? <laughs> yeah, I do. With the freshmen. I'm a lean crew. Oh, well, then that doesn't really matter. Mm-hmm. It's not like it's, like, a legit class. Well, it's a class, but it's not. Yeah, but one sorry, Miss Bates, for always being late. <laughs> Thank you. Do you think <laughs> teachers watch this? 
Like, do you think they take time to watch our podcast? Not just, like, this one, but, like... Probably you know. not Miss Bates. I feel like she has a lot going on. Yeah. Probably. She has to take care of all the seniors. I feel like some yeah. teachers would watch, like, Trash Talk and, like, Planet Nemo. And then, I, what's the other one? Yeah. Jacob's podcast. What is it called? Um, what is it called? The Struggles? Yeah. I haven't yeah. watched I that think one. it is that one. I watched it the other day. It was interesting. I'm on the... Well, I went on the other podcast recently, the Mexican one. The Mex? Yeah. Yeah, yeah the that, Mex. There's that one, too. Mm-hmm. Oh Sorry, Evelyn. Sorry, Evelyn. <laughs> I just forgot. Because there's so many, I just forget that we have them. There's a lot. Well. Yeah. So for this year, what what's keeping you motivated? Like, what would you say is keeping you motivated? Oh, that's such a hard question. I don't think a lot of stuff is keeping Actually, I think... She's like, I'm not motivated, actually. <laughs> She's like, I didn't want to be here. Um, let's just say that... Um, I think teachers are making me motivated, for sure. Like, oh, and counselors. Miss mm-hmm. Gonzalez, Miss Bates, all our, like, avid teachers are making us more motivated because they're like, please, apply in time. They're like, just keep on pushing us, too. Mm-hmm. And I think it, the more that they tell us, the more that we're actually going to do it. But motivation, I think it's just wanting to go to college, getting out of high school, just graduating is what's motivating me. So... Are you planning on going, like, far? Are you going to stay, like, local? Like, what's what are you thinking, like, for now? I'm not too sure because a lot of the places – well, I want to study mortuary science. Mm-hmm. But um, a lot of the places, like, colleges don't really teach that. The only colleges that teach that is community colleges. And they're around in California, so I could just do that. Sure. They're more like training than – it's kind of like cosmetology school or something, just mm-hmm. a two-year – get your license, and go to work like right. that. That's what it's more like. So are you going to apply to any UCs or CSUs? I was planning on applying for a CSU. So I was. I want to do college. I want to get a history major, an education major. Mm-hmm. And then I was planning on if I have enough time to get a mortuary science one because that's what I really want to do. Or go the other way, do mortuary science, then get a history and education major. Have you talked to Nathan, the tutor? Because he's a history major. Yeah, but I don't know. I want. I don't want history, just general history. I would want more like, uh, like geography, like human geography. I took that in ninth grade. I loved it. I really did. Really? Yeah, I like learning about why people are how they are in their religions. Mm-hmm. I'd honestly, I'd love to study. I think it's called theology. It's the study of religion. That's fun too. Just why people believe in what they believe in. Oh, that's very interesting. It's yeah. fun. <laughs> I like school. I like school when I'm not forced to do it. Right. Right. When I choose to learn, I think it's fun. Yeah, that's kind of why I like that we get to, like, obviously pick our majors and stuff, because I'm like, I mean, I'm going to have to pick something that I like, mm-hmm. you know. But I'm going to do astrophysics. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, but only, like, like yours, only a few offer it. And I'm kind of annoyed because it's, like, four UCs and one CSU. And I'm like... What if I don't get into any of the UCs? Then what? I know. It's just, it's hard because it's like your dream. I don't really have a dream school. I, I was like, remember in like the entire years of AVID, they would be like, oh, what's your dream school to go in? And I would just choose a random school because I really, I don't have a dream school to go into. It's yeah. just whatever school wants me, I'll go. <laughs> Honestly, at this point. I, I mean, I do have good grades. I, I My GPA is good. It was a 3.7. Which is average. I'd say I'm an average student. I'm not bad. I'm not spectacular. Just an average student who wants to go to college. Yep, I'm the same. Literally nothing about me. So I'm like, mm, I don't know. I don't know, guys. It's kind of scary. I don't know. Yeah. School scary. <laughs> Growing <laughs> up is scary. Yeah. So how many colleges are you going to apply to? I'm thinking of applying to four CSUs and then MSJ and not yeah MSJC. I was planning on doing it MSJC first, but um, if other colleges give me like you know f- tuition for free or more like financial help, then I'll go to the four year of course. But if no school helps me with financially, then I'm going to MSJC. Yeah, Cause I think hmm. I'm gonna apply to six UCs. And four CSUs and then one community. And um, I think I only had to pay for two of the UCs. So I'm like, that's fine. Yeah. As long as I get in somewhere. <laughs> yeah, honestly, as long as we get into somewhere. 
Yeah. What about you? What yeah, are you what about you? To? Where are you applying to? What um, college? What apps have you done? <laughs> any? <laughs> have you done any? No, because I don't have a, um, I don't know my, well, okay, like, I know it, but I don't know it. It's, what is it even called? FAFSA? No, it's, it's our, our social security number or whatever. Oh, you don't um, know your social? Okay, I do, but I don't. Like, my mom doesn't want me to memorize it or, like, write it down. So uh, She doesn't want me to write it down, so I can't memorize it. So I have to, like, start memorizing it so I know. But I'm going to apply to, like, I think three community colleges, uh, and I don't know the rest. But I'm going to apply to UCs and Cal States, obviously. But I don't know what yet. Have you started the applications? I started them, yeah. I just haven't submitted them. Me too. I started CSU, but I haven't submitted it because I'm stuck on the – I'm not stuck. I just have to write about myself, and it's just – You have like to write about yourself on those too? Yeah, but not so much in debt. More just like – because there's one part where it's like, oh, do you need financial help? And then it's like, here, talk about yourself and why do you struggle with money? Mm-hmm. Why are your family members struggling? And I'm just like, what do you want me to say? I don't know, bills? <laughs> <laughs> bills? We have to pay bills. <laughs> and sometimes bills are more important than saving up for your child. Like, my parents never saved money for me. And I don't think a lot of parents saved money for them to go to college. Yeah, I yeah. feel like... I hear about it a lot, but I've never, like, known anyone who's like, oh, yeah, my parents saved money for college. Like, I don't – did your parents save money for you college? I don't think so. But there they're, was, they're saving for Emma and Jay. No, there was – And I'm th- like, wow. <laughs> I'm just over here You're with like, nothing. picking favorites, picking favorites. For real, I'm like, they better at least get accepted then if you're saving money for them. If not, <laughs> I'm trying to have some debt. Some money. Like, there's there was too many of us to, like, save money for just, like – because there's seven of us. So you can't – how do you save money for seven kids? Like, that's a lot. There's only yeah. two of me. <laughs> I mean, it's just my brother and I. But, um, bills. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a big thing. Um, okay, so – which one are we on? <laughs> just pick any, honestly. Wait, okay, so you said <laughs> that you don't want to go to the UC, sorry. You said that – um, so you didn't do any PIQs either? No? Nope. Those I think I did turn in the PIQs for the homework assignment. I did do those, but not that well. Like they (laughs) they suck. I did. I turned that in late, and I got full points for it. Two. I turned it in. I turned in like two weeks late. Two weeks. Yeah. I was like, thank you, Miss Bates. Because like I did it. I still got. She knows you're struggling out here. (laughs) I don't know. Because like I don't know. I mean, they weren't bad PIQs, but like. Oh, mine sucked. Definitely could have done better on those. Mine sucked. Mine Mine were definitely like all right. Like anybody could have said it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I tried to go, like, story, you know, like, oh, here's a story of, like, like, oh, what was one of them? I don't even remember. Or, like, have you seen the ones where they, like, connected to something else? Oh, yeah, like, catch up. <laughs> and then they connected yeah, to, like, like, financial support. Uh, yeah. I'm like, I have to do one of those or else I'm just going to sound boring. Yeah. Hi, you sees. Here's why I need money. Blah, 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 blah. Um, like, no. You know, my favorite color is yellow and um, I hate mustard. So, this and is why I should get accepted to your school. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like my favorite chips are Pringles, <laughs> and this is why you need me. Yeah. Like, people make it so, it's the most random essays that get accepted into schools. Yeah. I um, think that's probably why, though, because, like, all of them are, like, similar. Mm-hmm. If you don't stick out, you're just like. Mm. Yeah, but I'm not applying to UCs because of the PIQs. Really? Yeah. yeah. That's the only reason. No, also it's expensive, and I don't want to go to an expensive school. But I don't like writing about myself. I don't. I don't know how to write about myself in a way that sounds persuading. I could talk my way through it, but I can't write my way through it. I feel like I'm the same. Like, if I talk about, like, myself, I'll be like, okay. But if I'm writing about myself, it's going to sound, like, the wrong way. Like, not, like, cocky, but it'll sound, like, not how it's meant, like, to be said. Yeah, like, one of the things was, like, oh. Why don't you just voice type it? <laughs> because, no, I know, no, no, I mean, like, like, I'll write it, like, what I would technically say, but unless I'm talking to you and, like, saying it to you, it's going to sound, like, weird. Yeah, that's like if you write a speech down and you write it down and someone else reads it and it's just, like, hmm? yeah. but then you say it out loud and it, it, it sounds better. Yeah, I think that's why English or writing essays is hard because you don't know how to express yourself really that well course there's words but is that really how you're saying it that's why texts are bad that's why texts are bad 
Literally, I have to add little emojis every sentence. Oh, yeah. That way they know my tone. So hard. Yeah, add the rolling eyes, mm-hmm. the no emoji. <laughs> this one? Yep. I use that one a lot. <laughs> I use the, 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 you know, the one that you're using, the standing one? Yeah. That's the oh, one that yeah. I always use. No, we use uh, that one all the time. <laughs> Imagine the one with the straight face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we could use that in the, what's it called? <laughs> the in our PA. Yeah, I think they'd get our, our message. We would yeah. be accepted. We'd it's definitely a crying be face. accepted, though. It's I like copy one and tear the smile. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the one where it's like you're, you're, like you're like talking about like a family member dying and how it was hard for you or something like that. <laughs> and then you're and like, you just but I it overcame it at the end. <laughs> oh, no, you put an emoji. It's a crying emoji. <laughs> oh. And then that's how they know yeah, that you're yeah. sad. Yeah. I honestly think that would be better. Maybe they should take that into consideration. Mm-hmm. For sure. Like, what would actually happen if I copy and pasted an emoji in there? <laughs> I don't know. Like, I don't think it's they would do stand anything. Out do it to color versus just. I just did at the end. I put the winky face. Oh my god! Please one accept time. me. <laughs> you put the end. <laughs> okay, right. so for academic purposes, um, would you want to go back like in time? Like, to do, like, community service or redo classes or anything like that? Yeah. I'd really? say freshman year. Freshman year, I'd go back because I was lazy and I didn't really care. And, I, like, I wasn't lazy. Of course, I did my homework. But I was just, like, I'm looking back at, like, some tests that I would do. And I was so dumb. <laughs> like, I was so dumb. Like, I'm, like, girl, if you studied, you would have gotten it. Like, you like just you had just to try. Like the bare minimum or mm-hmm. something? Like, uh, there would be a test the next day, and I'd just be like, oh, I'll study before taking the test. <laughs> and none of the stuff would go in my head. That's me with Madalena. Really? Study right before. Like, I'll study, like, the night before, but I'll also study, like, right before. I'll like, study right before on class. my way as I'm walking. I'm, mm-hmm. like, holding the paper, and I'm like, all right. Because right, like, I'm probably, this. like, finishing up the assignment, like, the night before. And then when I'm walking to class, I'll be looking at the assignment. And then once I get in class, it just leaves. Like, any information that I have mm-hmm. leaves. For me, it's pretty easy to study for a test. But it was easy when he would give us the information. When he would have us highlight certain stuff. Literally. He would give us the information. It, it was easier for us to learn. No, because and were you there when him and the student got into a little bit of an argument? Yesterday? Yeah. Yeah, I was there. <laughs> <laughs> I was there yesterday. <laughs> I know. You're absent. Well, I don't know. Can't Excuse remember. Excuse me? <laughs> no, because Miss Gonzalez told me. Did you hear her today? Yeah, she did tell me. I was like, it, they're just tardies. Yeah, she basically for really Saturday good. school, if you go to Saturday school, they'll like, um, they'll take off like seven of your tardies or something like that. I don't have truancies. That's the, the that's the thing though. I have. I, I actually have excuses for missing school. It's yeah, not like I have um, absences that are excused, so I'm fine. Yeah, I'm not missing school. Like, and then my mom doesn't call. Like, my mom yeah. calls because like, oh, some days I have to go to Mexico for a doctor's appointment. Right. So I'm just like doctor's appointment or she's sick because i am or yeah. something like that like this there's tomorrow i have to get blood work because i'm anemic <laughs> fun that's fun <laughs> interesting fun and exciting guys yeah so even though miss bates said that we're not surviving senioritis right now because we're not in it mm. would right? you say that you are yeah 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 i, I procrastinate like i do homework assignments because I don't have, I have tutoring for two classes, I'm just like, oh, I'll do the homework during class. Mm-hmm. And I do. And I, so my grades are good. I'm not struggling. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. I'm doing good. I'm doing good this year. Mm-hmm. I'm not doing, ooh, so good like last year, 4.3, 4.0, but Literally. I'm doing 3.5. Last 5. year was great. I can't, I can't, I can't, we can talk about last year all the time. Like, it was so good. It was so easy. Yeah. It wasn't easy. It was just like. I had so much time, so I was just like, why not just do the homework? Why yeah. am I not going to do it? Mm-hmm. I was a student. I had only talked in one class. Really? For last year. It was for Miss Ramiro in English 3. I would just talk the entire time. I was just like, there's nothing else to do. So I would just talk. No, I would hate when I would like accidentally fall asleep, and then I'd wake up, oh and I'm the only one <laughs> in the Google Meet, even though the <laughs> teacher left, and I'm like, well, this is awkward. Got to go. No, I, guess. I only, that only happened like one time. I had my computer like in my room, and I just fell asleep in my first period, which was like math. And it was like you got kicked from the meeting. I was like, you kicked me out. I was mm-hmm. like, when did you kick me out? Like, come on, I was listening. No, you know Jay used to do that all the time. Well, his teacher like woke him up, 
and was like, do 10 jumping jacks. <laughs> and he made him turn on the camera and do 10 jumping jacks. Like it's a PE class. The only class I fell asleep yeah. with was for Mr. Ellison in AP US History. No, I only fell asleep once. And I was in and out of that. Hmm. I think I am surviving senioritis. Funny. Are you? <laughs> Are you <laughs> surviving the last tonight? episode? How are you doing? I don't know. I'm a little stressed, guys. <laughs> I don't know. It's November. It's, it's, it's getting November. a little. It's getting a little hard to breathe sometimes. <laughs> College applications are hard, guys. They're so hard. It's not even they're hard. They're just so it's lengthy. It's just like thinking yeah. about it is like really. It's stressful. stressful because like you you're gonna put in all this hard work into like an application. What if you don't get in? And they're just like no. Yeah. yeah, you can't come here. Yeah, like we're putting in hours and hours on applications, and then they take about five minutes to read it all, and then they're just like, no or yes. Mm -hmm. That's, like, stressful. And that's so rude. Like, <gasps> you don't like me as a person? <laughs> I'm great. <laughs> Didn't you see my transcript? Did you not talk to me? No, it's just like... Did you not read my essay <laughs> about mustard? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'm just like, it's not even the thing that's it's scary to apply scary to be rejected yeah I think that's yeah. what we're scared of because yeah. i am so scared of being rejected from colleges and then people are looking to come up to you and be like what college has accepted you oh and you just be like msjc no um, like the RCC. little the little crusty crab thing uh -huh. with the little thing with the bottles i was thinking about it i was like what if people only have like one and she wants us to have like 10 i'm like i don't want to go up there and only put my one freaking secret formula up there one college that, that stresses me. me out because, like, I don't know. Er, who yeah. already has them up there? Ben and um, Ashley? They already have know. college stuff there because it was GCU who accepted them. I should have applied there, Loki. Grand Canyon <laughs> University? Yeah. Maybe just, just to for the bottle. Just to get there. one of the little <laughs> just, bottles. Just, just to get a little. Ooh. Yeah. There, no, what's the college that it's like a free month? Oh, oh she told us. She Cal told Baptist. Us. Okay, I'll Cal apply Baptist. there. I'll apply there right now. I'll apply there too. <laughs> a private university. <laughs> but those are more expensive. Yeah, expensive, but they give more. Okay, look, I'm just help. looking for the um, free application. Just another college to add on to. Why not? Just, just for the laughs and giggles. <laughs> <laughs> if I get accepted, maybe. Dude, I knew kids in tenth grade who were like, "Oh, this college already scouted me," and I'd just be like, "Okay." Okay. Thank you. Um, do you have any other questions for us? Questions for you guys? Yeah. Anything at all? Questions. Mm. Sure. How's it, how do you guys like filming this? <laughs> uh yes. Yeah, we love it. We love yeah, it. I think it's fun too. Yeah, it's really fun. You're our fourth guest technically. Even though the first one had two. Whatever. Yeah. Technically mm -hmm. fourth guest. Yeah. Yeah. Fourth episode person. Yeah, so fun. First female. So fun. First yes. female guys. Woo! Yay. Okay. Any other questions for us before we leave? No. I just I have class with you guys all the time, so I'm just Literally. like, yeah, yeah, I'll see you in class. You're like, uh. <laughs> I have you for, I have them for fourth and fifth. Mm -hmm. That's when we have class together, and it's very fun. Because we're in it. Yeah. yeah. Just like this podcast. Because <laughs> we're in it, it's fun. What do I have you for? I have you for second, fourth, fifth, <laughs> and seventh. Jesus. And we have yeah. lunch together. Wow. Yeah. Just coincidentally, nothing. Just coincidentally. Nothing, not like, nothing on no, purpose. No, no, no. 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 Never yeah. that. Okay. okay, that was our fourth episode of Surviving Senioritis. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam. And I'm Jaslyn. Yeah, thanks, guys. <laughs>